You cannot imagine how exciting it is for Andre and I, each one for his own reasons, to be able to bring solar imports from Switzerland to the United States and to present to you this morning our Across America mission. Until today, there was a piece missing in the puzzle of my family. My father has been doing joint venture with the United States for years, with NASA, with the US Navy, with aviation corporations, to dive to the deepest point in the ocean, together with Don Walsh, who is here this morning with us as a friend. To explore the Gulf Stream from Florida to New Scotland, ending up in the harbor of New York in front of the Statue of Liberty with the sprays of the boats of the firemen. And of course, I always wanted also to achieve something in the US, but I missed until today. Because when I flew around the world in 1999, of course, the dream was to fly above the United States, and the winds did not know it, and pushed me far to south, and I flew over Mexico on the way back to Europe and Africa. So, how did we get here now? And how is it possible to have this solar impulse in your country? Well, you know, when I was a child, I was reading books about exploration, about aviation, about the conquest of space. I was building small plastic models of airplanes. And when I arrived in the US to get to school when my father was working here, it was in 1968, and I saw that the reality was much better than the dreams. It was the moment where the rockets were going to the moon. I witnessed six launches of Apollo to space and two to the moon, invited by NASA, Werner von Braun, meeting most of the American astronauts, meeting Charles Lindbergh, and I thought, well, I read something in the book, I dream, I imagine, and it comes true. And it is exactly like this in life. You can dream, and it comes true, as long as you manage to get out of the certitude, as long as you can get pioneering spirit, as long as you can explore, as long as you can think of the grid. You know, so much time in our education, in our life, we spend learning certitudes, learning habits, trying to fight against the unknown, to avoid the doubts and the question marks. As soon as you start to love the unknown, to love the doubts, to love the question marks, life becomes an absolutely fabulous adventure. And this is what Solar Impulse is about. You heard in the film, we made it. What did we achieve? What did we make? Well, for the first time in history, an airplane has been able to fly day and night without any fuel, just on solar power. Andre was flying the plane for 26 hours. During the day, the sun was loading the batteries and simultaneously running four electrical engines in order to have the batteries full for the night and continue until the next morning. And the next morning, the sun started to load the batteries again, showing that theoretically we can make a perpetual flight, stay in the air forever. And this is the type of message we like to show. Because in our life, we put a lot of barriers. We don't invent the future we are entitled to have. Just because we're afraid, we have limitations. We don't dare to try and sometimes to fail before we can succeed at the end. So what we want to show with Solar Impulse is the power of innovation. It is, of course, innovation in the technology point of view, showing that with solar power, with clean technologies, with energy efficiency, with ultralight materials, we can bring a lot of solutions to the problems of sustainability. Not only to protect the environment, but also to create jobs, to make profit for corporations, to sustain growth, thanks to this technological innovation. But of course, you have innovation also as a mindset. The mindset of trying to invent new ways to do, new ways to think. And this is what Solar Impulse is carrying. Of course, Solar Impulse is carrying one pilot and zero passenger. 
but it carries a lot of messages. And through all the Across America mission, and André will explain you all the details, we'd like to inspire students, school children. We want to inspire as many people as possible to try to have the same spirit, to dare, to innovate, to invent. So we'll have a lot of transmissions live from the airplane, so the, the people will be able to follow the mission, to speak to the pilot, to ask questions. We'll have a lot of events with our partners, but also with NGOs, with institutions, with universities, that will be retransmitted live also on our website in order to have the maximum number of people possible gathering like a community of pioneer uh, around this, this project. So you see that basically this project belongs to all the people who would like to invent a better future, who would like to be pioneers not only in aviation but in their own life, in their daily challenges. This is why I hope this project also belongs to you and you will carry this message further. Thank you very much.